So I wanted to talk about something that happened to us the other day. So once a year, ever since our son and daughter passed, my wife and I go and we speak to somebody about it. And this year we decided let's try somebody new. So we looked for somebody that we thought was well suited for us, somebody that's a similar age, somebody that specializes in family trauma, and we went for four sessions. Last week was our fourth and last session, and the reason for that is everything changed during the session. And that is because the therapist decided to start attacking me. And I take criticism quite easily, but she was talking very firmly to me. I could feel myself getting cross. I was trying to control myself. But at the same time, I was thinking, this is a therapist. She knows what we have been through. So why is she doing this? And she didn't stop. So I was trying to do my best to keep calm. As she was talking, I was just saying, yes, I agree. There were a few points I agreed with, but that wasn't good enough for her. She told me to stop talking. And at this point, I said to her, I'm just agreeing with you. I'm acknowledging that I'm engaging in this conversation. She said, you'll stop until I'm finished. And at that point, I started shaking. I had my hands together like this, and I was just completely shaking. And it's one thing that I've gone through in my life, and that is I don't tolerate bullies. I don't tolerate people trying to make themselves look good at somebody else's expense, and especially in this case when it's a professional. So she looked at me, and she looked at my hands. She said, I can see you shaking from anger. So I said, yes, I am, because what you're doing isn't right. And my wife looked at me, and she said, I think you need to go outside. And I said, you're right, thank you. Now, should that not be the therapist's job to do that? So, of course, I went outside. I was just breathing, calming down. My wife then messaged me to say that the therapist would like to apologize. I'm all for forgiveness, so I walk back inside. I sit down and she says she's very sorry and I understand that and I forgive her. All good, no problem. And then she says to me, you know, a lot of people shake and sometimes I don't know why they were shaking and I didn't know why you were shaking. Therefore, I didn't know that I needed to send you out. And I said, hold on a second here. You specifically said to me, I can see you shaking because you're angry. She then said to me, well, I don't remember exactly what I said. So I said to her, why are you apologizing? Why are you arguing the point and trying to make things better as a therapist if you can't remember exactly? I said to her, don't you remember three weeks ago when we had this conversation about me having this unfortunate photographic memory about remembering things that I really don't want to and that I remembered our childhood, that I knew you growing up. I remembered the color of the tile floors in your house. I remembered your parents, your brother, their names. I even remembered her address. I had been to her house once when I was a kid. And she said, no, I don't remember that. So I said, well, how are you supposed to remember all the trauma we've gone through? Let alone, I'm a person that you knew growing up. Not very well, but she still knew me. And the fact that I had given her all that information prior to all of this, you know, a person would remember that. And the subject then got changed to, well, are you going to want to come back to therapy with me? And it became almost like as if she's a money graber. And I said, well, we're trying to solve something right now. I really don't think this is the time and place to be checking if we're coming back for therapy. We came here to check that we are on the straight and narrow, not to get all of this, just to make sure we're on the right path. We're good, but we don't need this. And this is how we stick together. And she said, well, if you don't want to come for more therapy, I need to know so I can book more patients. And I'm like, are you actually serious? This is really not on. It turns out we canceled the therapy sessions with her and her reply was to blame us. Maybe we're not the ones that want to take stuff in. And uh, maybe this is why we seek a new therapist. Um, whatever makes her feel better. But the point is that there are very, very good therapists out there. Very good psychologists, psychiatrists. But not all of them are. And it's important, and I encourage you all to have a look for these signs. Are they going to be asking for more appointments before they've even helped you? Are they going to give you something to take home and try are they just going to sit there and listen which is not always a bad thing but if it carries on like that and it's persistent and it stays that way and there's never any help it's not the best type of therapy I'm, I'm certainly no therapist or anything like that um, but I have had my fair share of therapists psychologists psychiatrists and um, and we won't give up we will look for somebody else just to talk to once in a while make sure like I say we're on the straight and narrow and that we're doing okay so in no way am I discouraging speaking to a therapist. In fact, I encourage it more than ever. I just, what I do encourage is to have a look for the signs of therapists taking advantage. There are many of them. 
I believe there are more good than bad. And there are some amazing people out there, counselors as well, psychiatrists, psychologists, that will help and listen and be compassionate. And I think that's the first thing to look for is compassion. If that person is not compassionate towards you, they are probably not going to help you. And it's better to not to stop, not to give up, but to find somebody else to talk to, even if it's a friend, a different therapist, a family member. If you're really struggling, you're welcome to speak to us. Leave your comment down below. We'll get into contact with you. We're more than happy to help. It doesn't matter how many people you are. We are there for you guys. And uh, we just want to try and help this world and make a difference. If you enjoyed this content, please give us a like and leave a comment down below. And uh, all these likes and comments have really elevated our channel and changed our lives. And we are forever grateful to all of you. So until next time, remember, be kind to others and peace out.